Hello, good morning, everybody. This is Chris Gallagher. It's January 29th, 2021, and this is the Preacher's Pen Friday 5. We're extremely glad that you're here. Check us out at preacherspen.org, preacherspen.com, preacherspen.net forward slash, uh, or preacherspen.com, uh, sorry, facebook.com forward slash preacher's pen, twitter.com forward slash preacher's pen, instagram.com forward slash preacher's pen. Uh, you know, it's out there. So come back and check us out. But today is 29th, uh, January 29th, 2021. And I wanted to thank you for making it to the fifth Friday of 2021. There we go. The fifth Friday of 2021. Thank you for being a part of the Preacher's Pen efforts and for what uh, for what you do in life. Thank you for being a part. I hope that you're having a great day. I wanted to share with you just for a few minutes five things that you can do this weekend for a better life. Now, the reason that we started the Preacher's Pen Friday 5 is pretty simple. I believe that we need practical matters to make a difference. We need to be able to take something into our life to be able to put it into practice immediately, not wait until tomorrow, but start right now. And that's what the Friday 5 on the Preacher's Pen is about. It's about the ability that we have to start right now and to begin to make things happen. So today I want to talk to you about prayer. Prayer is our communication system with God. And to be able to do that, I think we need to understand what prayer is. I think that prayer is a powerful response attesting to your everlasting relationship. And what I mean by that is when you pray, you're showing your response to God and your response to your relationship with God. And it's powerful responses when something bad happens in our life, we pray. When something good happens, we need to pray. When something bad happens in somebody else's life, we need to pray. But it's powerful responses attesting to or showing our everlasting relationship with God. So as you think about prayer, I want you to think about that. Because what prayer also brings us is prayer brings us hope. Hope of a greater tomorrow by the things that we can do right now. By our communication system with God. So here's what I want to encourage you to do. Number one of, of the five things that you can do on this Friday, number one, I want to encourage you to pray. Simple, right? Absolutely simple. Number one, pray. Use your communication method with God, knowing that God, the creator of heaven and earth, hears our prayers. But pray. Use what you've been given. Use this communication that you have with God to be able to pray to him. So Spend time, number one, in prayer. Number two, something that you can do that really enhances your prayer life is find scriptures on prayer. Don't just go to the same old scriptures. We know those. You probably grew up in a, in a church where you heard pray without ceasing or you heard what we call the Lord's Prayer or maybe in your particular congregation you grew up in, they said, you know, that's not the Lord's Prayer. It's actually John chapter 17. And you go over there and you read John chapter 17. You know that Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. But do you know that Paul prayed? Well, we know that he do. He did, but, but do we know the scriptures? Do you know that the early church prayed? Well, of course, but what are the scriptures? So one of the things that you can do, not only is to pray this week as part of the Friday Five, but find scriptures on prayer. Just go to the back of your Bible in the concordance and open it up and look up the word pray or praying or prayed or prayer and go through and read some of those scriptures. See what other people have prayed about. And as you pray, number one, as you find scriptures on prayer, make the opportunity to pray. Now, notice how I said that. I'm encouraging you, don't just make time to pray, but make the opportunity for prayer. Don't just, don't just simply say, all right, I'm going to have five minutes to pray. Make that prayer an opportunity. I don't believe in making time for anything. I believe that we make the opportunity for something. So as you make that opportunity for prayer, see it as an opportunity. You're talking to the God of the universe. You're talking to the God who made heaven and earth, who created the things that we see around us, and, and he created a tree and called it good. I clean the car and talk about it's, an, it's the best job ever. See, it's all about that perspective. But I would encourage you not only to pray, okay, to read scriptures on prayer, to make the opportunity to pray, but do this, write down a prayer. Just write it down. 
get out a, a pencil and, and get out a pen, get out a sheet of paper and decide that you're going to write down a prayer and just spend five, six, seven minutes and write down a prayer to God. Put it on a note card and put it in your pocket. Carry that prayer with you and say that prayer. Add to that prayer. Use that prayer as a prayer list that you have the ability to, once again, you have this opportunity to talk to the God of the universe. And I believe that the God of the universe wants to hear our wants, our needs, our concerns, our worries, what we think about the future. He wants that communication effort with us. Once again, I think that prayer is a powerful response attesting to your eternal or everlasting relationship, however you want to look at that word. But so part of the Friday Five, once again, pray, do, do that first. When, when you pray, pray to God, talk to Him. Number two, spend some time finding some scriptures on prayer. It's really easy with all the tools that we have out there. Don't use Google. Don't use Bing or Yahoo. Just open up the back of your Bible. Hear those pages turn and follow it. It's an amazing. But pray. Find some scriptures on prayer. Make the opportunity for prayer. Write down a prayer. Then, here's the other one. Pray for yourself. I know. We're, we're Sometimes we're not told that. We're, we ask for the forgiveness of sins, for the things that we've done wrong. We ask God to bless us, but be specific in your prayer. As you as you pray to God, he's listening to you. This Remember, this is the God that not only created the heaven and earth, but this is the God that sent his son because he knew that we're going to fail, that we're kind of goofy sometimes, and we're going to mess up. And he sent Jesus to us to take away our sins. This is also the God that knows every hair on our heads. He knows them all. He knows them all, whether they fall out or whether they stay, they're numbered. But he knows every single one. He knows about you and he knows about your life and he knows about what you need. I also believe, as we think about prayer, that God wants to hear from us. How do you feel when your children come home and you say, how's school? And they go, oh, well, you know, it's, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> that, doesn't, that answer shouldn't suffice. You want to know how their day went. How do they feel? What 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 happened? What what made their day just be fine? I think it's the same way with God. So let me share with you again, just if I can, really quick, the Friday Five on the Preacher's Pen. Number one, pray. Number two, find some scriptures about prayer. See how other people in the Bible prayed. Number three, make the opportunity for prayer. Number four, write down a prayer. And number five of the Friday Five, pray for yourself. It'll make a difference. Just try it this weekend. Try to start this five process and start creating a better day for a better life tomorrow based upon the teachings of Jesus Christ. So I would encourage you to do that. Once again, my name is Chris Gallagher. Thank you for stopping by the Preacher's Pen or my Facebook profile page or wherever you're watching this. Thank you very much. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. If you're on Facebook and you're on the Preacher's Pen, like us, become a fan of it. If you're on one of the other uh, social media efforts that's out there, leave us a comment, like us, follow us, all that fun stuff because we want to bring you things this year to help you make a difference in your life because the purpose of the Preacher's Pen is this. It is to assist others in creating a better day today for a better life tomorrow based upon the teachings of Jesus Christ. As we go through this life, one of the things that happens is uh, there's a life after this and we want to be there. So once again, pray, all right? Find some scriptures on prayer. Make the opportunity for prayer. You know, you can write down a prayer and pray for yourself. But once again, my name is Chris Gallier. Thanks for stopping by our little place. Uh, I'm going to get back to whatever it is I do. And I hope that I'll be able to talk to you soon. Be blessed and spend some time today in prayer. You'll appreciate it later. Thanks for being here.